Hey guys, this is Braden Break here, um, and today we are going to be playing Fossils. Dun dun dun. Uh, yes, we are going to be playing Fossils for you today. Uh, this is a deck I'm so excited to run for you guys in this channel. It's just fun to play. It's cool to see Fossils come back. Um, and let me go over the deck for you real quick. Um, your main attacker is going to be Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl has the attack Bite for one colorless energy and does 30 damage. We won't be using that much. Uh, his second attack is Jet Draft, and that does 120 damage. You discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, it's kind of like Scizor EX, except you don't lose two prize cards for using it, and you can use two a double colorless energy instead of two metal energies, which makes Aerodactyl a little bit better. Um, next we have one Bunnelby, and that's to bring back things like double colorless energy, um, maybe a target whistle. It depends on what we need to bring back. Um, you're not going to really ever use this deck to mill anyone out because you have to thin out through your deck so much on turn one just to pull off the first turn Archies. Um, we run two Shaman EX to um, help us draw cards. Uh, we run four Shuckle. Uh, hide a Berry is going to be very clutch. You draw two cards and then you put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. So what you can do with this is, if you have like a target whistle and you can't use it right now, and there's you're not going to pull off an Archie's, you can go ahead and get put it on the bottom of your deck, so you can pull off an Archie's next turn possibly. Um, and so that's very helpful. And then you run two Omastar. Uh, Omastar has the ability Restoring Beam once during your turn before you attack. Uh, you may search your deck for a restored Pokemon and put it onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterward. Um, and then he has the attack, Spinning Attack. 460 damage uh, it takes a water and a colorless energy. Um, so that first ability is going to make Omastar very helpful, and then his second ability is what makes this deck work. Dangerous Tentacle. Once during your turn before you attack, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon EX with his or her active Pokemon. So bam, you take you, you combo that with uh, Aerodactyl. You got a Shaman Killer right there. Um, you don't need Lysander in this deck. Um, let it, let's move to tra uh, trainers, um, and then we're talking about supporters. We run very few supporters. We run just what we need. Two Archies, um, it lets us get Omastar from the discard pile onto our bench so we can start playing fossil cards, or start bringing Aerodactyls out. You know, we also play N, uh, and you know what N does. It shuffles your hand into your deck, and, or, and your opponent's hand into their deck, and you draw the number of prize cards you have left. Um, Professor Sycamore, draw seven cards. Uh, and discard your hand. Skyfield, we play one. St we play one stadium in this deck. Um, most of the time, I found that we just. I wanted to run two or three Skyfields, and you really just need one stadium just in case there's a bad stadium that you need to discard. Um, other than that, it's not really that helpful. And I mean, you can get more bench space, and that's nice. Um, but really, you just don't need stadiums in this deck. Um, and to pull off the Archies, we have quite a few cards that we're going to be using. We have. Two acrobikes. Uh, look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. Discard the other card. Um, four maintenance. This is my favorite way to get the the cards out of my hand. Uh, shovel two cards from your hand into your deck and then draw a card. Sometimes it ba it backfires, but most of the time maintenance is what I'm going to use to try and get stuff out. And I prefer to use maintenance over acrobike. We run four battle compressors so you can discard Oma stars and Archies, and sometimes like other stuff if you need to. Uh, four Puzzle of Times, uh, so you can get back stuff like DCEs and stuff like that that you might need. We run one red card because it's a burnable card that you can get rid of, and it won't prevent the Archies. I try to get no dead cards in the hand when building this deck, and it's it's such a good card because you can just you can just put your opponent at four cards, and that can really mess them up sometimes. Um, we run one reserve ticket because sometimes it can really get you out of a, a bad situation. Putting any card on the top of your, your deck is so helpful sometimes. Um, I really didn't want to put Super Rod in this deck. I was super against it, but you just need Super Rod. It's such a good card. Um, shuffle three and any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Um, and then two Target Whistles to bring back Shaman EX. Uh, four Trainers Mails for consistency. Four Ultra Balls. Four Versus Seekers. One Floatstone. We run four DCEs and four Water Energies as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically Fossils. Um, it's it's cool to see it back. It's Aerodactyl is a really good attacker. Um, so let's see it in action. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're going to get a fossils match in here, guys. See what my buddy Aerodactyl can do. 
Alright, we're going up against a Water Psychic Grass Metal deck. It's a little odd. Let's see what we can do. Tails never fails, so let's see what our coin flip does. It does fail when I'm recording, though. Um, that's crazy. Um, let's see what we, we draw here. Okay, we do draw an Aerodactyl. Can't play him, though, because he is a restored Pokemon. So, we're going to Mulligan and put that back into the deck. Happens a lot with this deck. Um, it's just something that happens. Because you do only run six basics. And then here's two of them right there. We're going to put... We're going to put both down. Alright. Oh, Fortress. Pineco Fortress. Alright. Um, basically what you want to do with this deck is... Um, you want to Lysander out Shaman EX with... Uh, I'm gonna start break and take knockouts with Aerodactyl. So let's see how many shamans we can knock out today. We'll have a little shaman count going on. Um, other things you can run in this deck: Unknown, Jirachi, uh, more reserve tickets. Ooh, Alakazam. Odd little deck we're gonna see. All right, he gets the Spirit Link down in a color. Or what is that? Some mystery energy. Yeah, mystery energy. Alright, so we're gonna trainer's mail. Pick up an ultra ball. Yeah, ultra ball. Alright. Uh the uh, battle compressor. We're gonna discard two Oma Stars and an Archie's. Then we're going to Acrobike. Perfect. We're going to pick up this one. And we're going to get rid of the Super Rod. Going to Ultra Ball. Discard these two cards. We will actually go ahead and pick up a Bunnelby. Because we've already had to discard some cards I would like to have back. Um, a Super Rod. You know, we'll probably discard more stuff I want. So basically just the super rod. Um, we'll play down this tra uh, this puzzle of time. Why not? Oh, that's not going to be fun. But we'll be alright. And then we will pull off a first turn Archies. So that is very nice. We're going to pick up Archies, put them in our hand. And then Omastar will be dropped down. So pick up Omastar, put them onto the bench. Draw five cards. Uh, restoring Beam. Put down an Aerodactyl. Go do this. Trainer's mail. Skyfield or target whistle. We're actually not gonna. Why not pick up put down a skyfield? Mm, we're gonna put down skyfield. Let's see if we can hit a reserve ticket here. We do. Awesome. So what do we need? We I would like to hit a float stone or a what do I want? Floatstone or a VS Seeker, so we can just end. Let's do that. We'll pick up a VS Seeker, put that on top of our deck, and then we will end our turn. So that's a great first turn with um, this deck. We Having these two guys in our hands isn't fun, but uh, the reserve ticket, you just saw why it's very helpful in this deck. Um... It's also better because, like, in situations where we're trying to Archies, um, because you can do that, and if you land Tails, you don't have a dead card in your hand. Uh, so we saw Hoopa come down. He picked up an Alakazam Full Art. And what are they doing? Oh, they're doing our ability. Sweet. They're going to put down damage on Shuckle, which is great, because right now Shuckle's just a damage sponge for our the rest of our guys. They're probably going to put the other damage on Aerodactyl. But we're not too worried about that right now. Because what we'll do is we will just discard it. Oh, wow, Bunnelby. They're going to try and take an easy knockout right there. But we're not too worried about that. Zenforce does take two uh, energy, so we probably should have held the Skyfield. But it's all right. Okay. We're going to pick up in. All right, let's see what we do here. 
Okay, that works. That works. Uh, restoring beam. Put down another Aerodactyl. We're going to Ultra Ball. Discard Archies. Hmm. And Shaman. Yeah, and Shaman. Archies and Shaman. Just, uh, let's see. And then we're going to pick up Omastar Break. Evolve Omastar into Omastar Break. Uh, we're going to attach and water energy to Shuckle. Retreat Shuckle. Oh, no! We put down the wrong uh, Aerodactyl. That sucks. Whoops. Um, that's alright, though. We'll just end our turn. That was a terrible misplay. Uh, but it's alright. Oh, they play artillery. That kind of... Not good for us, but you know what? We're good. We're in good shape. Alakazam only has 160 HP. So we'll be able to two hit, uh, oh, two hit knockout on it. Um, they're going to end their turn with that. So we're going to Lysander him out next turn. And they're going to take a knockout on Bunnelby, which is lame. All right, now it's time we got to we got to we got to do something about this. All right, so we're going to put down a uh, double colors here. We're going to play the time puzzle. And we're just going to We're going to actually just leave it the way it was. Not good, but we'll be all right. All right, we're going to do danger restoring beam. Put down another one of these guys. And then we're going to dangerous tentacle. Pull him out. Then we're going to use jet draft. Do 120 damage and end our turn. So let's see what our opponent can do here. Um, if they can't retreat it, we're going to take a knockout and then we're going to go for Hoopa next. And then we will probably just take an easy one hit knockout on both of these guys. Um, he's going to evolve into that so he can use the draw engine. The draw engine, basically, of his whole hand is. He's going to flow stone. There you go. But then he puts down an energy. Well, I guess he doesn't want to waste the energy. Makes sense. He can't take a knockout with Zen Force just yet. It's going to put us at like 80 damage. Oh, he's going to de-evolve. Ah, alright. But he put a float stone on him, so that's kind of dumb. Don't know if he's just going to end his turn here or not. Kind of silly. Should have. Ah, there you go. But still, unless he has the spirit link. There you go, okay. Alright. Okay, so we draw into a water energy. We'll go ahead and put it on this guy. And then what we'll do is... Hmm. Well, Dangerous Tentacle. We'll pull out him. Go ahead and take the knockout. That's why I'm going to start break so good. And just abuse EX cards. Alright, we drew the other energy we needed. And good, we can maintenance that guy, that uh, Aerodactyl and whatever we top deck back into the deck, and then we can restoring beam him back uh, onto the bench, and then we can power up our other Aerodactyl. So that's really nice, really good prize cards right there. All right, we see him put those back into the deck. Makes sense. I have to say this is definitely an interesting take on Alakazam, but I do like it. Um, the Fortress card, <coughs> if I remember correctly. Its attack is based off of retreat cost or something like that. And I think it has an ability that does damage to us as well when it evolves. So they're going to knock him out, but that's all right. We're going to promote this Aerodactyl. And I don't think they're going to be able to knock him out next turn. I just don't see a way they will be. So we're going to take a two-hit knockout on this Mega Alakazam EX. Sweet, we're going to... Hmm, what should we do? Yeah, we're going to do this instead. We're just going to VS Seeker in. 
And it's going to put us both at four cards. Gives me more cards and them less cards, so I'm all right with that. And we do get some good hands off the end. Praise Lord N. Praise Lord N. All right, Trainer's Mail. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, We'll pick up the Floatstone. Because by now, they're really mad at our Omastar break. They hate it. So we need to get him to where he can retreat. Um, then I don't see a... There's not a reason to lay down Shaman EX right now. Don't want to give them an EX target. So we're just going to Jet Draft for 120 and discard an energy. We're going to discard the metal ener that Mystery Energy. And we should take a knockout on it next turn, no matter what. They're going to have to do something crazy to uh, prevent us from knocking him out next turn. Which means we are in good shape. Because we will just take out that Hoopa next. And I, unless they can get a Float Stone. Uh, that's game. Let's see what our opponent does. It's not over till it's over. Ah, uh, Judge. But we all know what that does. Alright, Mega Alakazam. They have one other card in their hand. Probably Shaman. No, not probably Shaman because they have Octillery, so... <clears throat> So why would they have Shaman? All right, they're gonna put fifty on or thirty on Shuckle. Gonna try and take a knockout there, and then they're gonna Abyssal Hand for five. All right, Fortress. Yep, they're still not gonna take a knockout on us, but that is a good little damage to exploit. Makes sense. Works well. All right, and they do have another energy now, so they're gonna pull off an attack. But again, that's going to put us at, like, what, 100 damage? So not a knockout. Oh, whoa, oh, that might be a knockout. That's not good. No bueno. No bueno. Unless I'm doing the math wrong. I could be doing the math wrong. Oh, and there's Dimension Valley. But that's all right, because... Oh, no, they discarded Hoopa. Uh, Skyfield, Why? Why, Skyfield? You have forsaken me. Oh, and they are going to take a knockout. But that's okay. We're going to promote this guy. Good play by them. We're going to restoring beam out our last Aerodactyl. So I'd say we're still in good shape. Let's see how many time puzzles we've used. We've used two. Um, if we lost Bunnelby, we have lost Bunnelby. Uh, he will be missed. How many uh, double colorless energies are we out? We're out two. So we're good. We're good. Uh, we're going to actually do this. We're going to uh, battle compressor. Get rid of what we don't need. Don't need that water energy. Uh, we don't need another battle compressor. And we do have both time puzzles. So that's nice. Um, and we don't need... You know, that's good for now. We just don't need those two. For sure. Get those out. So we can maybe draw into what we need better. Um, then we're going to Shaman. Draw four cards. Awesome. I like it. Hmm. We're going to Maintenance. Put away this guy and this guy back into the deck and we drew another shuckle I mean it happens um we're gonna go ahead and take our knockout jet draft all right we're gonna draw two prize cards hopefully we can draw double colorless and we don't do we hmm, we should have checked to see if we had a double oh that means one of our double colorless is in the prizes here Let's see. Oh, and they're gonna pull off a. They're gonna pull that off, but are they gonna be able to beat us? Let's see. I don't think they will. Oh, that's not good. They're not gonna knock him out. But let's see what we do here. Oh, that's not good. We need to get rid of Shuckle somehow. We can't though. So we need to up. Oh. Hmm. Zen Force. Not a knockout. So we're in good we're in good shape. Ah ha ha. That's great. That's really good. So what we're gonna do now, hmm. 
Do we? What do we do? 120. He has a two retreat cost. Let's see. They've already lost a float stone. No, 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 no. We're just gonna jet draft and discard this special energy. Yep, we're gonna. Oh, you know what? What we'll do is, yeah, we're gonna jet draft, discard the special energy, and see what happens after that. All right, so we're gonna do 120 damage to Mega Alakazam EX, and so they gotta have an energy in their hand. Let's see if they do. They might. They're gonna evolve. Put 10 on all of us. That's gonna knock out Shuckle. It's oh, a lengthy visual effect, but I guess Pokemon likes them, so we'll let it happen. This guy will be knocked out, and if even if they Lysander him in, so they have to do something crazy here. I just don't see it happening. I just don't see it happening. I think we won. Let's see what our opponent does, though. Alright, they're gonna Lysander. Oh, no! No! Oh, totally forgot about Shaman EX. This is heartbreaking. But, wait... Ah, oh, crap. There's the energy. That's... Oh, what? 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 They're crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, we don't mind that. We don't mind that at all. Um, hmm... What do we do now? We gotta do something here. Are we all out of energies? We're almost all out of energies. Oh crap. This is bad. Muy bueno. Or muy mal. Huh. Oof. Alright, puzzle of time. Wait. Battle compressor. Ultra ball, ultra ball. Don't need that. And we don't need. We don't need trainer's mail. Alright, so we did that. Let's do this. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Alright, we're gonna do that. All right, we're gonna swap swap those around. All right, then we will we will pass and see what happens. It's unfortunate. Let's see if they don't have an energy. Oh, they they can't take a knockout yet. That's why. All right. Okay, let's see what we can do. Trainer's mail. They're gonna pick up a Skyla. Let's see what they search for. AZ. Oh no, we gotta do something this turn. We gotta do something. All right, all right. This is make it or break it. Okay. So the only thing we can do. Is maintenance we're gonna have to shuffle this guy and this guy back in and we drew another maintenance all right so what we're gonna do here so we're actually gonna red card them so they might not pick up that AZ again but we might give them energy then we're gonna maintenance again this is we got to get something going here okay sycamore all right, we're gonna do this. That's game, we win. Holy crap, woo! All right, so we're gonna retreat. Uh, pull out this guy. Done. Uh, we're going to Dangerous Tentacle. Pull out him. And they concede. And we win, we see the victory screen. 
That was crazy. Whew. That Sycamore was clutch. <laughs> that was awesome. Great ending to that game. Great match. Uh, 19, 20 minute match. So that was a pretty lengthy match. We're going to record one more for you guys to watch. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that first one. That one was crazy. All right, let's get on to the next match. All right, so uh, closing thoughts on fossils. Dun dun dun. Um, there's so it's it's a great it, it's a good deck. It's not great. Um, it's okay. It's very fun to play. I would say I love that it's back. I love that fossils are back. I think it's cool that the TCGO is uh, that TCG Pokemon Company is doing this. You know, I think it's cool. Um, things that you can also run with it. Um, you could run more float stones. You could run more sky fields. Although I really don't think that's necessary. Um. 
you could run more reserved tickets. Um, I do like the idea of more reserved tickets in the card and in this deck. Old Amber, Aerodactyl. I do think you could run one or two of these in here, and it might help actually. It probably would. Um, I didn't run it with that. I just decided to do straight Archies. Um, you see how that works, though. Um, you could also run um, on Poke the Pokemon side. You could also run Jirachi with the Stardust ability uh, to discard Special Energies and stall a turn, basically. Um, then you could also run Unknown. Unknown with the Feral Aletto ability lets you draw more cards, and it's just good to have it so you don't mulligan as much. You could also run um, more target whistles. I only ran two, but if you run three, it's like maximum consistency for taking out uh, shamans, which is nice. Um, and then, basically, other than that, um, it's a pretty straightforward deck. Uh, it's just like any other Archie's deck, except you got fossils in it. Um, so yeah, fossils is fun. Fossils is cool. And uh, if you like it, just if you like uh, if you like what you saw, just leave a like, comment, or anything else you want to ask me. Just let me know, and if you uh, enjoyed the video, please sub. Thanks, guys. This has been Braden Break.